You don't got they know I'm here. I don't know. Now they do. Very nice. Oh! I think you got him! You got him! You got him! <laughs> The Bomb Lance is a fishing harpoon converted for land use. It has a very limited range, an inconsistent one-hit kill, and has only 5 bolts to use. It should be no surprise then that the Bomb Lance turns the pursuit of every kill into the hunt for a white whale. Unless you are close enough to cleave your enemies into fish sticks, it's going to be turbulent seas. It's been said that ignorance is the parent of fear, but fear not. If you don't quite get the bomb lance, this guide will show you how to use it, or at the very least, how to have fun. Count it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's start with the basics then. The bomb lance costs $199, does 150 damage, usually, and has a lengthy 4 second reload. It doesn't have any variants or custom ammo, but it does have brutal options for both ranged combat and CQB. It has a sighted range of 25 meters, which means uh, the range where projectile drop will not have enough of an effect to make your shot inaccurate to your sights. Crytek, it's a pointy stick. What part is the sights? The Bomb Lance has two modes. The Dear God I Hope This Lands mode, which is its ranged harpoon shot from a distance, and then the Dear God I Hope This Lands mode, which is the melee swing up close. At range, the Bomb Lance fires an explosive bolt that impales its victims and then detonates inside after a two second delay, producing a sound wetter than most ASMR videos. Oh, nice. Oh my God. The sound on that is always just top notch. A successful shot at range is almost always a guaranteed kill unless the enemy has bulwark, which we will talk about. It's also worth noting the bolts don't have much splash damage, so this isn't reliable enough to count on. Up close, the Bomb Lance is equipped with a rending blade that does massive melee damage and has insane reach, with the furthest melee of any weapon in the game. The light attack does enough damage to kill most things you come up against, so use that to conserve stamina. This explosive harpoon and dominating bladed combo makes the Bomb Lance a weapon oddly tailored toward PvE. Its light attack can clear multiple AI enemies and cause medium bleeding damage on enemy hunters or kill them outright. The heavy attack can cut through armors, concertinaed or not, break doors, clear hive swarms, one-shot water devils, and, of course, insta-kill unsuspecting enemies. Nice! The Bomb Lance is also perfectly suited for piercing those pale, blubbery beasts that may have wronged you before. On your ship, the Pequot. Moby Dick. I'm referencing Moby Dick. So, subscribe if you like literary references. Or whales. Or allegories for God? I don't know. I've never read it. I'm not going to because it's too long. But I could listen to it thanks to today's sponsor, Audible. Audible is an all-in-one audio service with a broad selection of audiobooks across every genre. Yes, even Moby Dick. They also have podcasts, which means you can keep all your audio needs in one place. Audible has thousands of titles to choose from, but I personally recommend All Systems Red by Martha Wells or We Are Legion by Dennis Taylor. Both are awesome series and perfect for anyone who loves sci-fi. Use my referral link in the description or pinned comment to start a one month free trial membership. And as an Audible member, you get one credit per month to claim a free title, which is yours to keep. So check out those links, claim your free credit, and tell me how you like my recommendations because I feel like I never get to talk about them with anyone. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video and thank you for supporting the channel. So a quick recap. The Bomb Lance can kill most AI enemies with one bolt or one swing. As a natural extension of all those PvE qualities, the Bomb Lance can quickly kill bosses. Three well-timed bolts is usually enough, but you can also just go to town with the blade if you want. Although, I recommend waiting until the boss is no longer frenzied so you don't waste your time or stamina. In short, if you are just looking to joyride through the bayou, killing any AI you see, the Bomb Lance is a great pick. 
where you might run into issues is when it comes time to start killing enemy hunters. The harpoons travel in a ballistic trajectory, which means you'll need to account for drop. And they travel at a very slow 60 meters per second, which means you probably won't be nailing too many headshots at range. These drawbacks mean most of the time engagements past 20 to 30 meters will have you pulling out your secondary, so you should choose your loadout wisely. The uppercut is an obvious pick, but a Spitfire is also competitive and significantly cheaper. You could also bring the Officer Brawler or the Sky field brawler since the bomb lance has no blunt melee option, but dusters work just as well. It also isn't a crazy idea to use quartermaster and bring a medium slot option like an obrez or a vandal. Speaking of traits, the bomb lance doesn't benefit from any specifically, but it can benefit from several unspecifically. The bomb lance is extremely melee dependent, which means stamina and sound are important considerations. Traits like conduit, adrenaline, and determination can reduce the burden stamina has on your effectiveness. Silent killer, whispersmith, and lightfoot can help you take actions quietly in preparation for an ambush. And last but not least, bulwark can put an end to all your careful planning. Enemy hunters using bulwark can survive being impaled and exploded from the inside. I'm starting to think this game was never about realism. But don't worry, when the harpoon doesn't work, good old bullets do the trick. God damn, pal. The bomb lance is most effective in close range, so hunters that play to those strengths and plan their approach will have the best results. But this also means that shotguns are a big risk. It's probably a good idea to hide the bomb lance until enemies are close enough to use it because much like pinatas at childhood birthday parties, everyone gets nervous around the guy swinging the stick. Alright, I think you're getting it. The bomb lance can kill just about everything except emulators, which you might want dusters for that. Killing hunters is doable and fun, especially up close but bulwark will haunt your experience. The melee-focused combat of the bomb lance might make it more competitive for console play, but the ranged harpoon shots are an option for marksmen regardless of platform. It benefits from a lot of traits, but if that's too much work, you can also just pop some stamina shots. If the bounty hunting thing doesn't work out, a career in lawn care almost certainly will. Special shout out to Evan Fishsticks, who has been hounding me for this video for months. Sorry it took so long, but I'm gonna miss seeing your comments about the bomb lance, but hopefully we can find something new.